In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front wheel speed sensors in this Ford Explorer. Let's get into it. Now we're going to remove this wheel. We want to take the cap off. You can use a small pry bar. Just get behind here. Just pry that out. Using a 19 millimeter socket, we'll take the lug nuts off. And pull the tire off. Using a 15 millimeter socket, we're gonna take the caliper and the bracket off together. Take these two bolts out. Using a 15 millimeter socket, we're going to take the caliper and the bracket off together. Take these two bolts out. Using a 15 millimeter socket, we're going to take the caliper and the bracket off together. Take these two bolts out. I'll just slide the caliper and the bracket off. I'm just going to take a caliper hanger and we'll just attach this to the upper control arm. Just make sure there's no tension on the brake hose. Now pull the rotor off. We're going to remove this shield so that we can access the sensor right there. There is this shield covering over the sensor. Use an eight millimeter socket. Take these three bolts out. Slide that off. I'm going to use a five millimeter hex socket. Take this screw out. And grab the sensor and it slides right out. There's a bracket right here holding the wire on. You need to remove the screw on the back side. Just use an eight millimeter socket. Take that screw out. Slide that out. You want to pop these retainers off. Just use a trim tool. Get behind there. Just pry those out. It'll disconnect the connector and just push down on the tab and it slides right out. And I take the sensor, line it up with the hub, get that pushed in, just slide this over here, and get the bolt started.
and snug this down. Slide this bracket in place. On the back right there and put the bolt in. I'll tighten that down. Just snug it down. And I'll push these retainers in over here. Same way they came off. And now connect the connector. And lock it in place. I'm going to take this plate, line the plate up, put the bolts in. Get those started. And snug these down. I'll put the rotor on. And just to hold the rotor on easier, I'm just going to take a lug nut and put this on temporarily until I get the brakes on. Now I'll take the caliper, take the hanger off pads separated and slide it over the rotor. Take the two bolts, get those started. down. Now we're going to torque these bolts to 136 foot-pounds. I'll pull that lug nut off. And put the wheel up. Put the lug nut on. Now we're going to torque the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Go around again, double check. Now slide the center cap in place and pop it on. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.